back to my channel or if you are new here hi there and welcome to this little uh, time lapse of a abstract abstract painting uh, which I mainly used watercolor for and here as you can see first I have applied some masking fluid nothing special I just added them randomly and yeah my randomness also ended up creating some uh, Ella fruit talk runes on them because to the ones that have been following me for a while on Instagram I I love incorporating runes into my work <laughs> but yeah I also tried out some of the new metallic watercolor paints that I bought uh, uh, two months ago I think in this <laughs> yeah and now as you can see when it's dry I sprinkle some of the watercolor pigment onto it and then I'm using a spray bottle to reactivate it and then I also learned about the metallic watercolors that they reactivate instantly with a little bit of fluid doesn't take much because they are already in motion here also <laughs> but I didn't mind that I had actually a suspicion that they would do that <laughs> But if you guys know any metallic watercolor paints that does not reactivate when they get instantly wet, let me know, I'd love to. I'd love to hear more about that. And uh, now when now I peeled off the masking fluid, and now I'm applying some water randomly and pigments again. And then a spray bottle and I start just screwing around and, and just, yeah, screwing around. <laughs> And then I'm adding some ink also on randomly. Some pink ink here and there because I like the bleeding of adding ink onto watercolors when it's wet. <laughs> but you've probably seen it in a previous video. <laughs> Especially the abstract ones, but I really enjoy doing the abstract stuff. It's fun. It's... Uh, it's... Uh, e Deliberating, I think. Liberating, I think the word is. I'm sorry, I'm English is not my main language. And now I'm just playing around with an ink dip pen with some ink dip pen with some, at the moment, black ink, and then I'll turn to white ink and silver ink, and I, I'll do some random scribbles and uh, add some more runes. Yes, I like runes, <laughs> as I said. Yeah, this was a fun little thing also to practice the ink dip pen. I'd, I haven't used the ink dip temp pen that much when it comes to inking. I usually just use a brush or a fine liner. But it was, it, this was fun. I got to learn um, that it's a bit rougher to work with the ink dip, ink dip pen on the watercolor paper at least. This one that I'm using, which is a uh, Rembrandt 300 gram, 100% cotton from Royal Talents. And I just ran out of ideas uh, what, to what I should talk about, so I'm just gonna let you enjoy the rest of this time lapse and I'll pop back at the end of it. Enjoy!
So we are about to reach the end of this video. First of all, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for watching it. It means a great deal to me. And if you are interested in any prints of this one, just check the description box below. And the same goes for all the materials I've used. They should be listed there as well. And if you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. It would be awesome. If you would like to see more of my content in the future, hit that subscribe button. It would be even more awesome. And if you'd like to get notified when I re release a new video, just hit the little cute bell icon next to the subscribe button. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos or just question on anything, just leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll try to return to you as soon as I am able to. Again, thank you everyone so much for watching. It means a great deal to me. And I see you in the next video. Bye bye. Have a great weekend full of fun of creativity and take care of yourselves and the ones you and the ones who are close to your heart. Take care everyone. Bye bye.